Maybe she's step out the car for this one. I don't like how the glare is. Maybe we could we could get a better lighting. Maybe if you put that light on a certain way. Uh, the like, way it was before. Yeah, maybe that light is better. Word. Yeah, that works. <clears throat> Peace to the family. So we're back. We live, baby. We live. We live baby. We live. So we got a little free time. <clears throat> Here we go. You must have been in the previous one. <laughs> <laughs> and we're still hype. We're still hype. Now my daughter's teacher wants me to come up there and watch what they're doing. I wonder if I could give you a sneak peek. Maybe. Maybe. <clears throat> it is definitely a busy night. We got moves to make, but I got a little downtime, so we all the way up. Cleveland in the house. Busy night for you. Yes. <clears throat> Are y'all ready? So we're just going to have a relationship class, okay? This is not based on our relationship. This is based on my male perspective and her female perspective. That's what it's based on. Because she has a very unique perspective Sister Victoria And we may even argue at some point or the other head Which is where the fireworks will come Because you know she's an aggressive female <laughs> I am not <clears throat> Now in order for us In order for us to do this We're going to have to be completely honest Starting from this point right here Bro, I have a very very no. serious question to ask you how can I ask you and get a quick response? Should I ask it now or ask you what email address or something? I'm nervous. What the hell are you about to ask me? Email it. That's tricky. Hey, but <clears throat> peace, brother and Vic. Why am I not light or Pope? Peace, brother. <laughs> She's Vic. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, why are you so formal with me? We've been doing this forever. She just got in the picture. Oh, God. Seriously? I'm I'm serious. It's not my first live with him. Y'all know that. But you ain't about to do me like that, peace, brother. <laughs> hey, Vicky. Thank hey. you, Callie. All you right. <clears throat> She's Thanks. beautiful. <laughs> Hi, guys. Brother Polite's here. I don't like doing these damn features with Victoria. Why? You to, look. This is, Are you serious? This is now... Look, the, it says facebook.com forward slash brother polite. It doesn't say <laughs> brother polite and Victoria. The title is you put uh, Victoria. <clears throat> I did. Yeah. Uh, Don't we, be insecure. We tell him. Tell him. <laughs> <laughs> we about to fix the title. <laughs> so that will no longer be true. And then you'll understand what I'm saying. How are you spelling ha 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 with, with G A G A G A? And you're laughing at me. <laughs> okay. Listen to y'all. Ask questions about the relationship. You know why? Because when I'm talking, people be throwing all sorts of questions out there. Now when we say ask the questions, everybody's just numb. Come on. We're ready. <clears throat> Laughing with you. Yeah, no doubt. So look. There she goes. She's so amazing. Ew. She's being all conservative. Man, I wish y'all saw what I saw. She is even more beautiful than y'all know. She's just being so conservative. She's she very conservative. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. You respect the knowledge. She's beautiful. And now it's time to ask questions that you need. <laughs> ask questions that you need to know. That you want to know. Ask questions about relationships in general. I see a lot of that. A lot. A lot of that. It's a woman's world. You guys are just in it. I agree. How do I treat each woman like an account? I don't think you should. Thank you. What kind of question was that one? <clears throat> the purpose of relationships is for two people to escape the mundanity, not create it. How did you feel so comfortable being as honest? Oh, there goes a good question, I think. Uh, how did you feel so comfortable being as honest as you are without being scared to hurt your women's feelings? Well, <clears throat> I would say this. If you're not honest, you're going to hurt a lot of people's feelings. So, uh, what I've come to terms with is being honest actually is a magnetic property as far as personality is concerned. And I've learned that just saying, you know, and I know what you're talking about, about honesty. Let's, let's be direct here. Being honest about, I say, sexuality. You see... <clears throat> This is my sexuality. I like being around women. 
And I know a lot of people think, oh, he's just going nuts and having sex with all sorts of women. And that's just far from the case. I like having relationships with sisters. I like being around them. I like taking advice from them. I like their touch. I like their feel. I like their hug. I, I love their look. I love their look. It's an amazing feeling. It makes my chest protrude. I, I'm going to keep this family. I was about to say a lot of stuff, but I'm going to be as respectful because she's here. So I don't want you to misinterpret how we engage each other. Because I was going to say it also makes me a wreck. But you I, just said that <laughs> you weren't going to take it that far. I, but I, I told you what I was going to say. It's not like I actually said it. You did. <laughs> Damn cameras. But listen. <clears throat> oh, listen. But um, it's a, truthfulness. I'm t I'm approaching it from a perspective of me being truthful, truthful about my sexuality. You see, if you understand what you're talking about, <clears throat> then you don't grow insecure about it. If you talk about, hey, I just want to be honest, yo, I, I, I just need another woman, and it sounds like you just need another woman to have sex, or you need another woman because the woman you with is not enough woman, <clears throat> that to me is disrespectful, and you got to figure yourself out. For me, the same way gay people are encouraged or transgender people are encouraged to look, don't let no one deny you of how you feel. Come out the closet and tell the world, this is who you are, and whoever doesn't accept it, then F them. I agree with that advice. And I'm like, if the LGBTQ community can promulgate that type of consciousness into their community, <clears throat> be proud of who you are. Well, you know what? When I'm talking to sisters, I have to be honest about my sexuality. And that doesn't mean it's exclusive to me copulating with people. My sexuality as a man demands that I spend way more time with females than I do with males. And that... I can engage females on as many different levels as both parties are compliant with. So there's sisters that I really build with them on a just intellectual level, on a whole other intellectual level. And guess what? <clears throat> That's important to me. She's beautiful. Okay, guys, we've seen that before. I'm right here. Feel free. <laughs> so <clears throat> where's my crowd at? Where's my sister supporters? Y'all, y'all, this is normally how it goes down here, you know. Don't come over here trying to take over my situation. I'm not. I'm barely even speaking. It's that face you're trying to put on. <laughs> it's my normal face. I barely have makeup on. <laughs> I'm not hiding. It's my normal face. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> here we go. I don't mind. So I will ask you a question again, brother. Maybe you didn't see it. Now you were talking about relationships and everything. The question is that Caucasians teach that we should not look directly. We should not look directly at UV rays. White people are hurt by UV rays. <clears throat> uh, sir, I want you to know that we are talking about relationships and we're giving an open invite for people to ask questions about a male and female's perspective that's consciousness that's all i'm coming from my male perspective she's coming from her female perspective and that's what we're talking about do you like your light tone wives more than your dark tone wives <clears throat> kodak black dots uh no i'll tell you this with every woman that i engage I engage them because they have qualities that I want them to either accentuate in me or help bring to the surface that I feel I may be lacking in, right? But so people say, man, you are an insecure brother. You have to be around all those women. Well, maybe I was prior, but now having been around so many sisters and for such a consistent period, I think I'm lacking and lacking a sense of security because I get my confidence from women So it's absolutely true I was lacking And now Every time I have a relationship with a, a female She adds on to What I'm looking for To take me to another level Okay Victoria challenges me a lot More than I like However <clears throat> She challenges me 
And that challenge, okay, keeps me sharp intellectually. Keeps me very sharp. She's very, very spontaneous. You know, I won't say some things. I was going to tell her you were and hard. <laughs> you are so naughty. <laughs> I'm gonna say she farted in a heartbeat, but um, and feel I no do. way. I do. I pass gas. I mean, that's hey, normal. In, in my world, when you're in a, any kind of relationship, you're supposed to pretend certain things don't get done, like farting. Like for years, I'm extremely comfortable. For with years, I, I've pretended like I've never farted in my life, and I will continue to do so. I just believe people shouldn't do that when they get into any kind of relationship. I've heard of past guys. Don't, don't, <laughs> so you know, I believe you should behave like you've never fought it a day in your life. That's how I believe relationships work. Some some stuff is too truthful. The niggas will be like, what? I'm, I ain't got nothing to hide. You do. That's one of them. Hide that shit. But hey, <clears throat> hey, who feeds your soul? Elaborate. <laughs> people like this. I completely feel that. That's what I'm talking about. We we breaking it fifty fifty right now. Some people feel like you should be freed and licensed to fart, and others be like, yeah, I hear that. I'm still very curious about women having several men. I'm not curious about it. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> Man, tell ignorant M Hubbers. Like, balance of a man comes from a woman. She can hold you down. Balance. Balance from a man comes from a woman. She can hold you down, but it takes a real one to hold your head up. All right, that's what's up. What would you be setting a choice for a romantic date? What would be your setting of choice for a romantic date? How about you tell us that one? Let's get you involved. I like <clears throat> long walks on the beach. <laughs> no, honestly, I really do. I like watching the sunset. A picnic on the beach, a picnic at a park, you know, something that you don't have to necessarily <coughs> spend money on, <clears throat> that you have no distractions of anyone else, but you too, you know, that's, that's romance to me. That's pretty dope. Yeah. What would you do if the spark is gone from the woman that is new in your life against the one that you have love for? I would think it's the old woman that you lose the spark for. Maybe that's what you meant, but I don't want to take your question out of context. I'll wait for you to rewrite it if it needs to be rewritten. Otherwise, we're just going to answer this. What would you do if the spark is gone from the woman that is new in your life <clears throat> against the one that you have love for? If the woman is new, I don't think no love lost. Y'all don't have to have a relationship with each other If the spark is gone Never feel obligated to stay with someone That you're not feeling no more right. But be honest with them Don't make them miserable Because they kind of sense you're not interested in them no more right. That's how I feel Can't do that Don't do that Because that'll make you That'll hurt the person that you're with You don't want to do that do you use 48 laws of power in your relationship? Okay, good. Yeah. Do you use 48 laws of power in your relationships, bro? Ha, ha, ha. No, it does. Newness is the spice of life. Let me get on my other phone and see if I can respond. Talk to them. See if you can get some questions asked. Okay. Where are the questions, y'all? Ask those questions. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because that, that finish button... Light rough. Is so bright. Okay. They're not asking nothing yet. <clears throat> you waiting for the questions, y'all? Ask your questions. Well, they're asking you. Well, Vicky's there. you all the questions. How do you maintain harmony in a relationship with several other wives? Marriage a vehicle of love. Is this when it comes to choosing to me? What is marriage more of a vehicle for love or business when it comes to choosing to me? That's you. That's not me. That's your opinion. That's not me. That's not my opinion. Do you follow the new cov in your relationship? Yes, I do. The new cov. 
as a woman with a very mature mind, how do you interact with other wives? How do y'all balance time amongst everyone? How do you get over a relationship? Vicky. Spending a lot of time by yourself. Okay, get that one. How do you get over a relationship? They need that one. Spending a lot of time alone. <clears throat> uh, finding out what you could do to overcome, I guess. With me getting over a past relationship, it took a lot of times uh, staying in my room. <laughs> I stayed in my room a lot a lot. I didn't um project my feelings onto <coughs> anyone else because I knew I was going through something. Thank you. And um I figured there were things in me that I needed to change. And not because of someone else, but because of how I handled the relationship. Maybe there was a few areas where I needed to grow and um you know, at the end of the day it's not always you and so a lot of people blame themselves for a relationships ending but once you get to learn you and uh love you more it <clears throat> the past relationship won't matter and then that's why people say it's better to love again than to like, never have loved at all <laughs> oh, boy. it's true what <laughs> it's true it's true <laughs> oh shit she scared you? He nope. got scared, y'all. Hell no. He jumped. Renetta no. scared him. Let me get scared, man. Cut it out. All right, give me from coming. And I know Bobby wants me to Thanks a lot. The young I'm lady didn't hold up. Yeah, part. hold up what part? I'm coming soon. I'm just finishing up this last week. We're yeah, yeah. relationship Let now. me ask you again. Oh, really? Just, What's up? Stream. Of whatever they ask about relationships. What? We just go. Dang, I missed it. Oh, it's you good. You know I got opinions. It's good. question for her. Let me go rehearse. I know I gotta go rehearse. My birthday is March 23rd. Will you ever forgive a man for cheating? Is there ever a situation where you will take him back? Nope! <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's my daughter. Trust is like a broken mirror. That's right. Okay? You can uh -huh. try to put it back together, but it'll never be the same. The key word is... Don't. The key word, the key word nope. is cheating. Cheat, cheat, cheat. cheat. Don't That's do the key it, word, girl. Cheats. Don't if do it. If somebody cheats you out of anything, no, absolutely no. not. For what? There's like seven billion people on the planet. I promise you'll find somebody else to treat you right and not break it the first time. Mm -hmm. Don't take him back. <laughs> nope. The key word is cheat. Do not allow anyone to cheat anything out of you. Sorry, Debbie. Y'all rough as hell. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> it's true. What's that you say she about the Lord? Or? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> better to ask forgiveness than permission. There you go, brothers. It's better to ask forgiveness than permission. <laughs> God is forgiven. Women aren't. We hold grudges like hell. Black woman is God. Still hold a grudge. The vengeful God. Have you not seen all the vengeance God put in the Bible? God is a jealous God. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a good I know. So, let's do this. <clears throat> Yeah, we subscribe to the Zodiac. Uh, she woke me up with that voice, boy. So every time I think, and then you better not come up. So now, mm -hmm. ha ha ha, got you. My mother took my father back, and they seem very happy. Mm -hmm. Guess some situations are different. Cheat is an animal instinct. We'll pass. What up, brother Springfield? <laughs> you wanna go away? Go ahead. Cheat. If you're, you're, you're secret. Yeah, cheat is secret and, and lying. That's the term in which we're going to get together and then violate the term. Right. That's not animal. Cheating is violating. That's that's what it is. If, if you guys have understanding to be what they said, how to start back date. Don't be afraid. Throw yourself out there. <laughs> I don't, don't look yeah. for a rebound. <laughs> don't look for a rebound. I ain't want to look like I'm throwing my voice to the female voice. <laughs> they just want to watch me. Who said it was a game in the first place? <laughs> 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 this, I'm starting to see why these relationships ain't working out. Right. Cheating is a complex upon which we defy gravity on. I don't even 
know that guy is cheating or committed saying some shit like that. Do women do poly the opposite way? Women do, not the sisters I be around. I don't know too many cases of it. I don't know nothing, but I know it has to exist somewhere. To get over insecurity as a man, roid up. Can't hear. Hopefully that works. What's the best way to try to elevate someone you're interested in? <clears throat> I would say share with them the things that are special and dear to you. Now, if you don't know what's special and dear to you, then that's a problem. Uh, I find what's the most important thing that you can share with a sister is knowledge. And I would believe vice versa. I agree. You know, when you open up someone's mind, you open up their heart. Because that's an experience that is exclusive to y'all. Anyone can take someone to Red Lobster. But not anyone can have, make say things that make you have an epiphany. Not anyone can just say something and have you in a space where you're like, you know what? Damn, I feel like changing my life. You know, Red Lobster mate, or Olive Gardens doesn't necessarily make you want to change your life after you've eaten food. May change your weight. May, won't change your life. But someone to say something to you, someone to say something to you, and it'll have such a profound effect and meaning that you may reconcile within yourself that you need to be made anew. <clears throat> and that's why knowledge is so very important. So if you want to elevate the opposite sex, you I would say you have to elevate yourself so you can have something to share in the first place. You don't want to come in with baggage or negativity and then they got to try to reform you and fix you up. Maybe you can be uh, enlightened enough that you have something to offer to someone who is vibrating on similar frequency. Can you find the answer to this question? Why is it okay for you to have several wives and they can't have several husbands? When you say questions like that, it sounds like I'm over people's backs with a whip. Don't you look at no man. <laughs> That's not what it is. I don't I don't like how those questions are proposed because it, it intimates that something negative and very oppressive is taking place. I'm in a relationship where the women do not mind. And I don't even say do not mind. Like, well, they kind of had to... You no, know, I'm in a relationship where this is compatible with everybody's convictions. So it's called polygyny. And polygyny, that's a system where there's a man and several females and they are in conformity with the idea that that relationship is engendered around the one male with several females that's what that is there's no oppression to it it's a preference it's a sexual preference and by sexual preference it doesn't exclusively allude to copulate it's a sexual preference that's all it is it doesn't mean someone had to be forced to be into that situation or yo i'm telling y'all y'all can't do this no no it's a sexual preference that's like going to somebody gay and saying how come you just can't be straight they're gay and if you say how come you just can't be straight they're not gonna take you serious because they're gonna say this is their sexual preference this is how they live their life this is what they do so when you say how come the women just can't it's their sexual preference that's what they into it's my sexual preference that's what i'm into polygyny that's what we do that's what that is okay I and mean, it's it's like those questions are proposed coming from a place of frustration because you yourself may not be interested in it or like it and that's okay but i but let's exercise caution the way we postulate or, or formulate these questions as not to be offensive not that i'm angry with you i'm not angry with you but i would like people to really Consider their approach towards questioning the lifestyle because there's a lot of assumptions that's made. And that's why this forum is good, so we can answer questions. <clears throat> okay. Can a conscious man be with a Christian woman? Hmm. There's Christian conscious, let me say that. Uh, so, I would say... Let's... Again, let's reformat these questions a little bit. 
uh, it depends on what level of consciousness you want because I vibe with several Christian women. I, I have Christians in New Covenant organization and leadership positions and I trust them more than the so-called pan-African who sees himself as the anti-Christian or, or non-Christian. I have the Christian in place, like in Ohio. You know, I have a sister that's the head. Uh, in New Jersey, I have a brother that's the head. You know, Brother Lawan. Okay, he's a pastor. Y'all may not even know that. You feel what I'm saying? So, what y'all gotta understand is that consciousness is one thing. We talking consciousness, okay? So, we want to be more specific. Now, yeah, you may not be into the Jesus thing and all that, but guess what? If if you're talking to someone who's conscious, who makes subscriptions to Christianity, you might find out that, you know what? They agree with you on many things. And they don't take that slavery approach that a lot of people take as far as belief is concerned. They may not be part of the religious aspect of it. They may be more of a spiritual precept and that may be their conditioning or their school of thought that they're in at the moment as they continue to evolve and gain more perspective in the world. You feel me? Everyone has a, a, a point of reference when it comes to learning. And that may be what's going on. That may be their point of reference. So I'm saying that because if if you're saying a con if someone's consciousness is contradictory to your consciousness, but you still want to make it work, if you feel like it's that much of a difference, then leave it alone. Because I'm telling you, there's some Christians that you have enough that you can build on that it can work. Because you have some people that's pro-black and Christian. And you might have as much differences with them as you have with someone who also is conscious based on your opinion of conscious. And you may have more differences with someone who's part of the pan-African community or the pro-black community. You may have more disagreements with someone that's part of the pro-black community than you would have with someone who considers himself Christian. So idealistically, the question that I want to put forth is how much of a difference or distinction can we find amongst one person's consciousness and the next? If, if it's so much that you feel like, man, you constantly got to argue or disagree, I would say no, because the worst thing that can happen after that is that you mess around and start making babies. And now the babies are forced to pick one or the other. You don't want to feel like, dang, we're going to almost have to tell the child, pick mommy's side or pick daddy's side. No, they should be able to coexist and say, man, daddy should be just as confident as mommy should be to, for either one of the parents to be the guy at any given time. So that's where, that's, that's where that gets difficult. Okay? It can get difficult sometimes. Poly seems cool. Marriage is a business and you can spend more time with yourself in your projects at the same time there aren't too many men that are mature enough for it true facts real black ask him again please <clears throat> ask him again no i'm being real here because we're dealing with people everybody doesn't think alike so because everyone doesn't think alike guess what <clears throat> christians have relationships with christians right do they have divorces yes they do so does it mean if the person subscribes to the same thing I subscribe to, we will be infallible? No. So then now the question for me, for those of you who think I'm dancing around it, what I'm telling you is this. <clears throat> if there was two pro-black people, and I won't say pro-black as, as though the Christian is not pro-black. If there was two people that make subscriptions to pan-Africanism got together, does that mean that they definitely going to have a good relationship? No. There may be things going on in the world of that man or that female where they cheat, where they lie, or whatever it is that goes on. So now what we got to find out is how much precedence does their belief take over their personality? Some people use the religion as a catalyst to perfect themselves. Some people use their pan-African black nationalistic perspectives to perfect themselves in character. Those are people you can actually work with and grow together eventually. But then there's other people who make their perspectives dominate their personality to the point they don't even have a personality. They don't have thoughts of their own. They just blindly follow everything that everybody else says within the confines of those particular constructs. And then those are people that's very difficult to deal with because there's no room for growth. You can never build with them and say, you know what? This is my approach, this is my perspective, and they consider it. They'll just be like, no, I'm not dealing with that because my Bible tells me this. I'm not dealing with that because Marcus Garvey said that. You don't want to deal with that? No way. 
So it's bigger than just Christianity. I understand what you're saying. We want to find out personality traits. Look for people's personality because where there's a great personality, where there's a high IQ, where there's open mindedness, you never really have to worry about what a person's religious disposition is because they're so intelligent, they wouldn't be hindered by the possibility of engaging great conversation for the purposes of both of y'all growing. I'm just telling you this because. People create so many rules and regulations when they talk about relationships that you can't find the right person after you listen to all they damn rules. I don't want to do that to you. I don't want to make it damn near impossible. You're like, man, I'm just looking for the right sister that's just like this. She's just not like that. And she's like this. Then you'll mess around and you'll never find her because you're just making the shit too complicated. You got to grow with people so y'all can conform to each other's disposition, to each other's perspective. I agree. Do you think opposites attract as far as your mate or should you have more in common than differences? This is interesting. I hate sometimes when the answer is a combination of both mm -hmm. because I know you're looking for one or the other. Right. <clears throat> but on the real, I want to have something in common with the sister that I'm with. I want to have several things in common because it feels good knowing some, someone mm -hmm. can relate. But in other instances, I want to deal with the opposing field because what my mate may be the opposite of may be what complements me because I don't fulfill that part in this world. I don't contribute that to the world, but she does. And it may be a part of me that I wish I did bring to the surface that she can help pull out because we're opposites. You know, uh, Let's say one party is passive and the other one is aggressive. There's times you need to be passive, there's times you need to be aggressive. The passive brother can tell the aggressive wife, I think you should calm down a little bit this time, baby. And maybe she listens and it works to a better advantage. Meanwhile, the passive brother may be getting taken advantage of by someone and the aggressive wife can tell him, look, I'm your eyes and ears and I'm telling you, don't trust that person. You see what I'm saying? So that's when opposites that attract can do you well because we complement each other with those opposing fields. You understand what I'm saying? So it's about knowing when it suffice to embrace someone based on what they are the opposite of you in. Because you may need that opposing field and you may not demonstrate it best, but then they can be there completing you, making you whole through that opposition. Right. Then it wouldn't even be opposing. It'd be completion, actually. Okay? So you become whole, not opposite, when you can use each other in that capacity. <clears throat> there you go. Kind of good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Had to think about it, but yo, that's what it is. <clears throat> I'm dealing with this issue with my woman. I appreciate your feedback. Humans are so egotistical that relationships is limited to male-female interaction. What does that mean? It sounds interesting. I would like you to elaborate. Would you divorce one of your wives if she decides she no longer wants to be in a relationship with one man and wants another one with you? Of course. I mean, this is why it's called polygyny. It's one guy, several females. That's called polyandry. We don't do polyandry. They're going to have men in and out and women in and out and no one knows what the hell's going on. The place gets robbed. We don't know which one of the spouses did it. No, you stop. Uh, do you want to take another wife? <clears throat> hmm. I don't look for people. And it's real. I've never looked for anybody. And that's why when people be like, yo, where you find these women? I can't find any of these women. It's crazy. I always tell them, you're looking for people, you're looking for trouble. If you go out there looking to have a relationship with somebody... I believe most times unless it's going to mess up because you went out there looking for people and your heart is so out there to look for somebody, you wind up just accepting anybody and everything because you fiend in to get into a situation. You understand what I'm saying? You're fiending to get into a situation, so you wind up settling for anything. He got my attention with this viral clip of him in the video when he was going off with his perspective on Christianity. <laughs> How can you deal with all the personalities? 
You see, and that's what I'm telling you. You may say, man, how you say all of that and you had debates with different people of different religions? Because polite is open-minded. If we if we organize to say today we want to highlight our disagreements and see whose disagreements are the strongest, that's what the order of the day is. That's what the order of the day is. Would you take a white wife? That's a very good question. I'm going to answer that after I finish answering this question. <clears throat> I want to keep you in suspense. Some damn Becky photos, isn't it? Why would you ask me a pro-black if I want to take a white <laughs> wife? Why would you do that? But I said it's your right to ask questions tonight, so it's not a problem. So when it's time for me to debate, that's an agreement both parties in the community all make that hey we want to see a conversation we want to see a diatribe take place about the following issues and that's what we do we discuss the following issues when it's no longer a debate then there's no reason for me to be disagreeing i don't want to say arguing because the connotation of the word if we didn't organize the diatribe if we didn't organize disagreements for the purposes of us coming to some kind of resolve or choice then when we're talking about relationships I'm not in there to argue I'm in there for growth so guess what the Christian sister or the Muslim sister her personality may have something that she could contribute to my world and I can't turn that down because of her religion. Unless she's so blocked by her religion, we can't build. Because I'm going to tell you this. When I met my oldest daughter's mother, my wife, she was Christian. And I was conscious. And I already had two wives. And I was out there in Harlem teaching. And she told me she was Christian. And I gave her the Pera and Haru, or the Pocket Tip Shippa And I gave her the, what they call the Book of the Dead. Okay, which is the ritual procession of the awakening. It's a group going into consciousness or an awakening. And so, when I met her, she was Christian. And I was building with her and everything. And no, it wasn't, I bagged her that day. I got her to come to class, pardon me, and she remained Christian as she was coming to class. She'd go to church and she'd come to my class. She'd go to church, she'd come to my class. But she was open-minded and she would listen to what I had to say. And she still appreciated the, the value system that she was getting from Christianity. Not the dogma, the things that made her a better person, the laws, the rules and regula regulations that she listened to and said, you know what, I think that's true. I should live like that. So she did both. She listened to me. She listened to them. She came to me. She came to them. She started reading some material and we grew together. It worked out. And that's it. It birthed a powerful relationship. And she found balance with what she has learned in Christianity. And she's incorporated that with the comedic science without contradiction. So some things she said, okay. I'm falling back from some of that. But you know, these things are still good and I see no contradiction with that and I'm incorporated into this. And that's how it worked out. I, ain't, I didn't tell her, oh, you gotta let that go. Or you know, no, I shouldn't have to even do none of that. I should be able to teach and live my life and demonstrate what I'm doing at best. She does the same thing. And if we're vibrating, if we're growing together, we won't have too much conflict. Because no room for insecurity when you're building this relationship on a certain level. You, we just we just teach each other. It's perspective. She call she could call honor thy mother, honor thy father, a tenant of Christianity, all she wants. But the fact of the matter is, does she realize the significance of honoring her mother and father? And do I realize the significance of why it's important to honor thy mother and father? If we both agree to that. Then by whatever terminology you want to use, I'm okay with that. See, that's what I'm talking about. But if we start going to historical pretense and she denies certain historical facts because, just because, Bible told us so. No, you know, somebody may have made errors along the line. 
See, she wasn't in, she wasn't no staunch Christian where she felt like obligated to hold on to certain things, but she still was given the right to her belief and her subscriptions without my imposition. And because of that, she was forthcoming and listening to whatever it is I had to offer. And she was able to discern amongst herself, you know what, this is what I'll take, this is what I'll keep. I'm over here, I'm doing this. And she found balance and peace with what she was doing. I'm just, I just don't want to leave y'all out there to not have no wife or to have no husband. This stuff can actually work. We just can't be so imposing and domineering as to suggest that I am so right about everything that I am going to take the responsibility to teach you every single day about what? Like you can't learn from the other person as well. So it's just real. Explain why you believe every guy should get with an aggressive woman. Well, I'm not going to tell you every guy should get with an aggressive woman because some women will probably strap you to a bed and whip your ass mm -hmm. and love it. So please don't do that. <laughs> All right, let me keep this over here. Don't even think for one second that I'm down with that. So don't think for one second. <laughs> that don't, that don't, don't let no one lie to you or be foolish right? <laughs> she's such a jerk uh, that's why it's only me on this camera right now <laughs> so I, the reason why I believe aggressive women are so very important especially in this day and time is because we, we need people to challenge us as black men we need to be challenged. We need to be challenged severely, right? Uh, I do admit, there's certain levels. <laughs> I'm about to block you, Christina Carter. <laughs> Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay, not funny. Such a jerk. Well, uh, Christina Carter, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I hope you're a new follower. I hope you just came to here. So then I don't have to be, I don't have to have certain expectations of you. <laughs> it's that nice. We love it. Yeah, y'all reading that crap, huh? <laughs> yeah, so what I'm gonna tell you is this. I, I would never allow someone to strap me down and whip me. That Come on, that ain't me. Remember, I'm alpha male. I wanna deal with aggressive women. But I ain't gonna have her abusing me, whipping me, torturing me, and telling me, give me more, baby. I'm not about to, <laughs> I am about to be doing that crazy shit. <laughs> That's not me. I think they call it Dama Matrix or something like that. But anyway. A dominatrix. Anyway, yeah, that, that's not me. Uh, imagine that sex tape being leaked, polite getting his ass whipped in bed, handcuffed, with somebody dressed in all patent leather. <laughs> Oh gosh But listen That's for old white men I'm telling you And if you ever watch old white men They always got a lash on their body somewhere <laughs> <laughs> Yo They be burning through the hairs They got hair everywhere except for that line Where it looked like they got whipped It said we will buy it Christina said she will buy that sex tape <laughs> Oh gosh <laughs> Christina you out of control girl <laughs> So that we will buy it. Oh my goodness. With those black slippers with the fur. Now what the hell does that have to... Y'all never let me go with them slippers yet. Let them think. <laughs> them black slippers do not allude to the fact that I would be whipped by some woman wearing a Catwoman outfit. They into all kinds of BS. Shaking my head. Who told you this? What? <laughs> Yo, these oh people are crazy. <laughs> Oh my God, my woman is aggressive and very stubborn. I'm opposite, that's where we clash. Yo, this is what I'm telling you about aggressive women. Sometimes they overboard, but do not hide from the aggressive woman because the aggressive woman is your eyes and your ears. She's the one that doesn't like everything moving in and out. She's your protector when you are off guard. When you, when you falling back and you sleeping and you just loving the most high as many of us say or you into your consciousness and reading your books here and there she the one that don't trust nothing moving 
And later on, you'd be like, damn, I should have listened to her. But I hate to tell her she was right because she was so damn aggressive about it. She, the aggressive woman is your protector. She's the one that's going to challenge you. If you're not a bitch, pardon my language, if you're not a mitch, if you're not a male bitch, and you can take criticism, you don't necessarily have to worry about, man, I think she's trying to really destroy me. No, sometimes she just challenging you to work harder she may say man this situation is messed up but at least she has the heart to tell you that it's messed up as, rather than a woman who sit there know it's messed up and don't want to hurt your feelings the aggressive woman preys on the fact that yo if you really love her you're going to respond when you see her emotion about the situation a passive woman will have you both fuck around being poor and she won't like it either and then eventually leave you anyway Oh, y'all like this, huh? I'm seeing it hundreds and facts for real, for real. Okay. All right. I, I know people be shitting on the aggressive women. But I don't need no soft-ass woman. I don't need no soft woman around me. You know, so I like, I love aggressive women. I love them. I love it. Keeps me challenged. Keeps my mind spinning. Some of them just be overboard, though. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, really? But I, that? I love aggressive women. Some of them just be overboard and shit. I love aggressive women. Some of them just be doing too damn much. But I love... Do you realize I'm getting hit every time I turn the stand camera? <laughs> the sound effect is me getting hit every time. <sighs> Christina Carter is so funny, man. I'm, I'm about to start following you, Christina. You are mad funny. She is funny. <laughs> yo, I like her, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I will not forget your name. It takes a strong man to handle a strong woman. That's true. And a lot of black men are crying when the women are aggressive. I'm like, Yo, don't you know the beauty? Let me tell you a secret, brothers. The beauty about dealing with an aggressive woman. We're going to have to do this with an all-male phone. I can't give up the goods. Go ahead. But, but the beauty about dealing with aggressive women, right, is that. Nah, I can't say it. Say it. Won't say it. Say it. I gotta use it for a different time. Say it. It's a different time. It's a secret. It's only. It's a secret. You can't know. You can't know some of it. This is only for the guys. Let us know. Because then they will have access to all our powers. It's one of the few things. What is it? Say it. Everyone wants to know. Say it. 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 Come on, y'all. Say it, say it. <laughs> Yo, trust me, brothers. If they, if some of these secrets go out, this is God code right here. They can't know what we know. <laughs> this shit got me crying. <laughs> Keep it G with us, fool. Come on, say oh two. <laughs> say two. Right, yeah. Two. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Come okay. on. Hey, say it. I'll just tell you this much. I learned to laugh at the aggression when going through it, but it seeds planted for the advancement of our relationship. Facts. Say it. Don't try to go go past it. Hold strong, polite. I'm dying laughing. <laughs> they should know, bro. No. Uh What's well, I tell you, in, in I tell you this. I tell you this. Aggressive women really give you the most love. That's true. true but passion. they make it hard to finally get to them. But if you endure and you finally get to them, you get a love that you never seen before in your life. I'll tell you that. That's the trick, but no one stays around long enough with the aggressive women to know that they can give you way more love than the passive women. And that, that I'll tell you that. These aggressive women got a lot of love. They're passionate, but they just Tough ain't love. about to right. get hurt love. early in the game. That's they make right. you work like a mother. That's right. To the point you be thinking, man, this motherfucker hate me. You dislike me. Why are you even with me if you don't fuck with me like this? You really be here like bugging like this woman is nuts. But guess what? And they hold out. So like after a fucking year or two, they finally change. Be loyal. Very loyal. Very, loyal. very loyal women. These aggressive women are very, very, very loyal. But they just put you through the test. It's like to see if you really about that life. If you really, if this is what you really want to deal with, I'm letting you know from the gate 
Now them them passive women be having all sorts of secret shit going on. Mm -hmm. But you 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 be finding out and you be all hurt. Aggressive women be right there on the front, like yo, listen, this is what it is from day one. You knew what you got yourself into after the first week fucking with me. You know, aggressive women show who they are so early. You be like, yo, damn, she could have waited a month. You know, yeah, I mean, she fought ASAP. No, no. <laughs> -uh. <laughs> I didn't mention no names. This is so funny. But anyway. <laughs> but they, they they real. They real. They definitely real. You know? But they, they stick. I mean, hey, look, I'm in that I've been I'm in that for 19 years. Mm -hmm. She's aggressive. I've had those conversations with Aminette, like, yo, do you hate me? Why are you treating me like this? <laughs> you know, I'm like, yo, I love you. It's like I'm being too soft. Women are some thugged out motherfuckers <laughs> i'm going to tell you this shit for real you ain't seen no thug action till you seen black aggressive women they ask can be married to a drug dealer or a killer know that brother kills know he shoots and lays niggas down they will still hit this nigga yep. they will hit the killer yep. just out of the anger from frustration or emotion that their brother's late for a dinner engagement I'm telling you, but at the same rate, there's something about it that turns me on. Like, you know what? All right, all right. Nah, on the real, you know why? Cause that, that's, that means that she'll ride or die with you. She'll ride and die with you. She'll ride and live with you. That means that kind of woman, that kind of mentality, she's with the shits. You understand what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> for real, like, that means that she ain't gonna cower down if you get locked up and she gotta take care of the children. You feel me? She gonna boss up. She gonna visit you in prison, and she gonna handle the business. Gotta take care that she gotta take care of on the outside, and she ain't gonna cheat on you. She loyal. She loyal. I'm telling you, the, them aggressive women, the, they are built for the war, for the storm. And in this day and time, we got so much opposition. You're gonna need those sisters that just have it in them to endure. They don't just sit there and cry. Now they cry. And they cry harder. Than all the other women But they don't do it often nope. And when they cry They get it all off The, ha the past year or two They get that whole <laughs> that shit off cry. One cry And you won't see it again <laughs> She'll raise hell for another two, three years <laughs> To the point where she cry You're like, man what the f You cry? <laughs> but they real, man Like Remy Ma I suppose These <laughs> popping dollar <G's. laughs> Yeah, so they real what is the main key to a relationship? Consistency. Consistency. Powerful <laughs> word. I say 95% of every successful business is predicated upon communication. Yep. And love is law, family is business. So, communication. communication. Yes. Communication. Sometimes I just feel like people be trying to throw shade in the weirdest way. But there's no sun out. So maybe I'm tripping. That's a guilty conscience. Oh, I wasn't even talking about no, you. I was okay. I was overhearing oh. something somebody was saying outside Where? the car. There's people talking all you over hear, the place. No, you hear nothing. There's no one <laughs> having a conversation. Are you gonna anywhere? tell me I hear nothing? There's no aggressive woman, chill out. <laughs> ah you on <laughs> tape. Yo, look at the restraint. Do you realize the restraint? Do you actually see her contemplating what do I do next? Stab, punch, or kick? It's wild. Consistency. That's right, Reggie. How important is friendship? Very important. You gotta be friends. You gotta learn. You can love a person, but you don't have to like them. You gotta like them too. You gotta be able to like them too. Very true. Yeah. I heard that, but like, we got you, son. What should I do to get this queen to open up to me? Mm -hmm. What should I do to get this queen to open up to me? That's dope. He has a queen. He wants to open up to him. Okay. It's kind what of broad. It is very broad. Uh, what, what, what has not worked, I guess, should be the okay. question. Yeah. Tell us what didn't work so far. Because it sounds like some things is just not working. Does she know you like her? We got to get some more information. 
What are you looking to get out of her? You know, what are you asking? Kind of. How do you deal for women beliefs in Christianity heavy, but you're openly aware, and she tries her best to turn your life to Christ. Well, that's a good sign that she's trying to turn your life to Christ. Because think about it. If she's into Christianity and she's not trying to convert you to Christ, that's a little suspect. Oh, that's a good response. How do you get a woman to open up to you? Open up to her. Dope. Maybe you're not opening up to her. To so, you feel like you're uh, what I would suggest you do is if she's trying to convert you to Christ, go for it. And I know you may say, man, what the hell kind of advice is that? If she's really interested in converting you to Christ and you're really interested in her, how could you not take interest in what, what she's interested in yeah. if you're interested in her? There is no interest in her unless you're interested in what she's interested in. That's true. Yes, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to tell you go to church, but I'm going to tell you it would be wise. Like You're going to want her to be interested in what you're interested how, in. Yeah, how, how are you going to just get your way and put her onto your stuff and you ain't going to take the time out to see what's going on in her world? That's right. She's going to feel like, no, no, my world is significant. I, you may have experienced other Christian people, but I'm a different type of Christian. You say you interested in her, that means you interested in Christians, Christian women. Don't turn around and be like, I ain't interested in Christian women. I'm interested in this woman who's a Christian. No such thing. She's a Christian woman. That's who she is. That's who you're interested in. You'll grow together. Give it some time. See if you can endure. If you can't move forward before you give her hell. <laughs> Shaking my head. No, don't do it. No, you got to do it. If I'm interested in somebody and they're showing that they want me to be part of their life in that capacity, mm -hmm. what am I going to do? Tell them no. Not I'm not that mean I ain't interested in you. Look, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I see people trying to give you other advice. Let me tell you something. A woman wants to know how interested you are in her. You say you're interested in her. Then the number one way to show your interest, not to fake, you could be a hundred. Yo, I don't deal with the Christianity thing. And I would like to have a conversation why I don't deal with it. Yeah. Come with your facts. Yeah. But there's a time and place for that. Right. Not the day of church, not when she's walking out the house to do what she do. Because that's disrespectful. See, I'm just telling you how to deal with this in a mature fashion. If you are as interested in her as you say you are, you will go with her. Mm -hmm. Especially because y'all just learned each other. You will go with her. And you will make it happen. Because if she's wrong about what she's talking about, then we got to work on convincing her to convert to the truth. It's not about trying to convert somebody. If a person, if she is loving you as well, she's going to consider the things you got to say too. But you got to, it's a give and a take. This is what I'm telling y'all. You can't always just be getting your way. That's what I'm telling you. Stop thinking you're just going to get your way all the time. It's a give and a take. If you're dealing with someone who who loves what they're into so much they're like yo you gotta get down with this and you're saying yo I'm in love with her there's no being in love with her with that not being part of the matrix but if there's reciprocity if she is as interested in you as you are as interested in her she gonna follow you to the lectures now if only one side is doing it then it's gonna go to hell now this should not probably be going on forever it shouldn't go on forever. However, it should. You're, you're growing together because you're interested in each other. But if this thing keeps going on, then yeah, I should separate. Do your own thing. It's going to end soon. I just want to let y'all know this was so much fun. It definitely was. <laughs> it was, it was a so lot of fun. much fun. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot <laughs> of fun. Girlfriend Christina. <laughs> yeah, Christina, you dope. Okay, so it's going to end in 55 seconds. And this is perfectly on time because we got to make our moves. I stayed here a little bit longer because this was fun. This was so much fun. Again, if you're interested in any of the mentorship, brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Maybe Vicky can give you relationship advice. Yeah. We can do this. She's dope. She knows what she's talking about. And she can give aggressive black women some advice to not go overboard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because... Again, it's nothing wrong with aggressive women. Sometimes you just got to know when to put the brakes on. DM me. You guys know my Instagram. 
That's thick. Oh yeah. DM her. That's thick. It already sounds like a show. <laughs> she about to have her own TV show. Thanks, brother and queen. You are beautiful. Say bye. Peace, family. Later, we got four seconds left. It's about to go. Oh, see y'all later. Bye, 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 bye. I just wanted to tell y'all this much. I love y'all so much. I'll see you later. It's still going. I thought it said it. It says it ended. <laughs>